Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. So I asked for uh, you guys, the subscribers, to ask questions, give video uh, ideas, suggestions. Uh, if you need help on something specific, like right now, then leave that in the comment as well. And this video came from a uh, maybe the most recent subscriber right now, which is awesome. So thank you. Now my voice is is going. <laughs> the allergies, I guess. It uh, feels like I swallowed a porcupine, but so this person asked about putting your gains on a knob and how do you know if it's working? So this particular plane, I have the AS3X gyro gains on the knob and then on a DX9 transmitter back here behind your fingers, there's sliders you can slide them back and forth on each side similar to a knob but it slides and I've got the safe gains on the slider so two gain channels both both of them are, are on a you can call them a knob or a momentary switch and uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how they work and, and how to tell if they're working and I think the first thing we need to do is understand the switch and how the RC transmitter operates. So I'm gonna get my pen out and uh, show you guys a high-tech drawing here. Hang tight. Okay, we're not gonna draw, but we're gonna do something else. All we're, all we're gonna focus on is the flag right here. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how, or teach you about the switches, okay? The transmitter sticks, the switches, um, every, every signal that the transmitter sends to the receiver, and the receiver sends out to a servo is zero is the middle negative 100 is the bottom plus 100 is the top okay so right now we're at zero and zero 100 zero negative 100 zero all right this is a servo tester and I can press a button here to make it either center or go back and forth a full sweep negative 100 zero 100 so there's the full sweep so it's 100 zero negative 100 zero negative 100 okay this knob on this servo tester is the same knob on your transmitter all the way to one side negative 100 up in the middle zero all the way to the other side positive 100 all right if you have a switch on your transmitter that is a three position switch in the middle is zero one side is plus 100 the other side is negative 100 on your throttle stick negative 100 0 positive 100 this stick here is 0 negative positive positive negative okay so everything is negative 100 0 positive 100 so now that we know how the transmitter sticks and the switches and the knob work, how they communicate, zero, negative 100, positive 100. Now we can talk about the gains and maybe on a knob and, and maybe we can understand it a little better. The first thing we need to do is bind it up and then we'll look in the forward programming menu and I'll show you where the gains are set, how they're adjusted and how to make sure that they're working. Propellers off smart thing to do. I have a wall up here of uh, runaway propellers in this very room and it got dangerous. All right, so got all my control surfaces. Got a little bit of a uh, gas there. So I have my AS3X gains 
on the knob and my safe gains on the slider and and right now I have everything turned down okay on my knob right here if I twist it to right here it's center you can you can hear it Twisting it to the right is positive 100. It's full blast. Twisting it to the left all the way is negative 100. That is off. Okay. So we gave it a little bit of throttle. We've activated the AS3X. I've got my gains turned down to off. Shaking the plane, you don't hear any noise. Okay. Now I'm going to twist the knob all the way to 100. All the way. Here the servos going crazy. That's full blast gains. Let's turn the knob to the center. Alright, so now we're at zero. So now the gains are at 50%. Okay, now let's see if I can do this without breaking something. So all the way and I'm going to gradually turn it down. And you heard when we got to the center because it beeped and then now that it's down to zero they're off. Alright, so we'll turn safe select on and we'll make sure that it's active. I'm going to turn the plane upside down without trying to, without hurting anything. Nothing happened because I forgot that the AS or that the safe sled gains were off. This slider right here, you can hear the beep for center. Right now they're off. Center zero, positive 100. So now the safe select gains are turned up to the max. So you can hear the servos going, you know, it's trying to level you, that's, that's the safe select, it's always trying to keep you level. Turn it upside down, and the ailerons are deflecting fully to roll you up. So, I'm going to try to turn the slider down to, that's, that's the middle slider. Now the slider's off, negative 100. At this point, there's no safe select and no AS3X gyro either. One more time real quick. On the knob, we're negative 100. That means the gains are off. It beat, we're in the middle, we're at zero. Turn the knob all the way to the right. It's a one. It's positive 100. The max gains. Now they're maxed out. There's the middle. All right. We just got done doing the little demonstration where I was twisting the knob, the knob back and forth. We'll go down here to forward programming where you would uh, assign gain channels. We'll get there in a minute. There's my AS3X settings, and here's the AS3X gains. So, I have them set for 35, 50, and 60. So, we'd have to get a pen and paper out to, oh, well, the, the, the middle of 60 is 30, the middle of 50 is 25, and then uh, da, 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 17 and a half or whatever is the middle of roll. So, when, you, when the knob is centered, then it's half of those numbers. When the knob is twisted to the right, it's those numbers. When it's twisted to the left, it's zero. All right. And then, you know, if you have your gains like that down here at the bottom, you can decide if they're adjustable or fixed. 
which if you have them on a knob, that needs to be adjustable. And then we'll look at the uh, safe. Safe gains. I have them set for 40 and 40 in flat mode one. Yep, 40 and 40 for safe gains. And then the slider, we can hear it. That's center, zero, so that'd be 20 and 20. Full blast, 40, 40. Negative 100 is zero. So there's the... Uh, there, there's the gains there. And we also have the, uh, what I just showed you in the Ford programming here on the main screen. If you just roll your roller to the right, then you can see the AS3X uh, settings right here is uh, the same we saw, 35, 50, 60. And then the next one is the safe, 40, 40. And you can see my angle limits. That's how steep up that, that the plane will bank when it's in safe select, 75 degrees. And then there's the gyroscope that I never really pay attention to. And the G-force I never really pay attention to either. And that's the smart uh, speed control program menu. That's the last of it. Roll back through it again. This is all the telemetry I have from this plane. There's the smart speed control. That's what that uh, that's what currently is going on. And then this screen here is your minimum and maximums per flight or per whatever whatever time you want. You, you can hit clear and erase it any time. So you can leave it like that for your entire flight. That way you don't lose any data. So when you get done, you can see what your minimum and maximums were. And then while you're flying, if you want to check real-time stuff, you can look at this screen right here. And then that's the uh, receiver voltage. And this is the flight log that we need to talk about. Uh, but we got so many videos to do. We, we're going to be buddies here. I mean, we're already buddies, but we're going to be really close once we get through this whole transmitter. But this is the signal coming from the receiver to the transmitter and the transmitter going to the receiver. The F stands for fades. The H stands for holds. Uh, when you're out flying, if you I think it's more than 70 fades, then you got problems. Then, then you need to start looking at some, why your uh, reception is bad. Carbon fiber in the airplane. Uh, you know w w what is it? A, 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 a nitro uh, glow engine or something? You need to check into it. Bad antenna. And a hold, you don't ever want to see any holds. That, that means that your plane lost signal and it went into fail safe for a second. That's pretty bad. And then the 100%, that is the signal strength for the telemetry signal. Okay, That's not uh, the signal of just flying the plane. That's the signal for the telemetry. And the way you change all that real quick is we'll go down here to telemetry and all the way to flight log at the very bottom. And if you haven't done this, yours will look like this. It, whatever this DBM is, I don't know what it is, but I always change it to something I can understand, which is percents. And then lower that this number down to the very bottom. So you want your alarm to go off at the very bottom, you know. That's why I was saying you can have 70 before you have trouble. So then it's going to go off if, if it gets to 30%. So, but that's for more videos. Just in case you guys are wanting to see inside this plane, there's the battery compartment. And there's the AR637TA. That receiver came out of a uh, uh, the ultimate the biplane, the red red and white biplane. And then two servos. These are digital E-Flight servos. These actually come in the uh, Carbon Z Cub and a couple other ones. These are good servos. And it's just a simple setup. There's not a whole lot there. That's fuel tubing. And I have the uh, antennas inside of them to protect them. That's it. Well, maybe that will help... Uh, 
some of you guys out a little bit now that we have an understanding of uh, what the switches do and what the, what the transmitter sticks do. So here's another thing to keep in mind. That knob can be used as a servo. You know, you could use it for uh, whatever. You, know, you might have some kind of mechanism that uh, drops a, a bomb or opens a bay door to let some candy fall out of a of an airplane or you know or, or just whatever maybe you got uh, a jet and you get a hook on the back like you're landing on an aircraft carrier the knob could lower and raise that so that's just sending a signal just like your transmitter sticks and like all your other switches do but it's just a digital signal it's not physically moving a servo motor it's just sending the signal from negative 100 zero positive 100 to the receiver telling the gains to go from the very bottom off to the very top full blast hey guys thank you so much I can't say thank you enough keep the request coming and the comments coming and the ideas coming and keep the subscriptions coming and click the like somewhere around this video there's a spelled like click it that uh, that means a whole lot to me. Hey, thank you guys. Until next time, uh, you'll see me here.